The UN Security Council is expected to vote in the coming hours on a resolution calling for the suspension of hostilities in Gaza. The vote has already been delayed twice this week as diplomats have been negotiating with the United States on the wording of the resolution. Earlier this month, Washington vetoed a resolution calling for a ceasefire. The latest draft calls on the parties of the conflict in Gaza to comply with their obligations under international law regarding the protection of civilians. It also calls for urgent and extended humanitarian pauses and corridors throughout the Gaza Strip for a sufficient number of days to enable full, rapid, safe and unhindered humanitarian access. Additionally, it calls for the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. Let's bring in our correspondent, Gabriel Elizondo. He's joining us live from the UN headquarters in New York. So many delays, Gabe. What's been the holdup and what are we expecting tonight? Well, the holdup has, quite frankly, been the United States. That's very clear because the United States uh, is uh, clearly not satisfied with the original draft uh, that came out on Friday, that was circulated on Friday, that called uh, for a suspension, I'm sorry, called for a cessation of hostilities. So they asked for that wording to be changed, and it was changed to suspension of hostilities, a less permanent uh, uh, a term there. Uh, and it's been the United States that we think has been continuing to ask for changes and modifications uh, behind the scenes, in closed doors. But at some point, uh, the other members of the Security Council, primarily the United Arab Emirates, which is drafted and essentially sponsoring this resolution, has to either agree to continue delays or not. And so we are believe now that uh, there will be a vote uh, within the next hour or two in the Security Council. And uh, at that point, we will see what happens uh, on this. Now, this first draft came out last Friday, so this has been, now we're on day five almost, uh, almost into day six, if you will, on this draft being reviewed by the United States and other, other Security Council members. This is a hugely important uh, Security Council resolution. Uh, it has wide support by Security Council members. It will pass. That is very clear. The only thing that would prevent it from passing is if the United States chooses to veto it. And we are being told between two sources, diplomatic sources, uh, they have been speaking to Al Jazeera, have said that they are hearing that the U.S. has not taken off the table the option to veto. We have not heard from the United States. We'll wait until that vote uh, happens. But uh, clearly, there has been a lot of last-minute negotiations, but uh, according to two diplomatic sources that have told Al Jazeera that they are hearing that the United States has not taken off the table the option for a potential veto. Gabe, thank you very much for that. That is Gabriel Elizondo live at the UN headquarters in New York for now.